Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Feed the Beast Dire with 20 Pack. This is 1.12 edition. Uh, we are talking about starting power in last episode. We took a look at these passive uh, um, passive uh, RF gen. Now I would like to note that this does produce uh, crystal flux, but it auto converts to RF. All right, just I want to want to let you guys know that one. I did I did not say that in the last video, but I should have. Uh, all the all the generators automatically convert to RF. So, um, uh, this was my testing on um, Steam, and what I wanted to know is it does. Okay, so there's two upgrades for Steam Power. Let's go over that first. The first upgrade here is the turbine conversion. If you look at that, it greatly increases power generation. Steam must be provided from an external source. All right. And if I hit R here, you can see that it requires copper plates, uh, a conductive, conduct, conduction, 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 I cannot say that word. Sorry, guys. Coil and an iron gear. If you look at this, it's just an elementum ingot. There you go. That's how you make that. And as you see, for my testing, I did use the fuel uh, catalyzer here. You do not need this for the build, but I would suggest using it. I don't know if it helps. It seemed like it did for me. Um, I don't know if it helps specifically for the steam, because I don't know if steam actually counts as a fuel in this case. But I used it. Uh, it, it, it the other one, this one, the one that increases power but uses more fuel makes it use more steam but gives you less power overall through for the operation all right so it gives you more power more maximum power per tick but you get less power overall for the steam and uh i, I want as much power as i can out of it i don't really care about getting the maximum power per tick i want the maximum amount of power per fuel used all right so that's why i did this I, I have tried it with both all right i have tried it with both uh these and these and you do get more substantially more power by using these all right so just be know that but both this operation here requires you to use this one now this is the boiler conversion the boiler conversion is specialization. It converts the an applicable dynamo into a steam boiler, increasing fuel efficiency. Steam is produced instead. Now you can put this in any dynamo. It does not have to be a steam dynamo. Dim, dim, dynamo. So any dynamo, dyn, dynamo can be converted into a steam one. All right. I just used a steam dynamo so I could compare fuel usage. All right, so, uh, and you make this one with some copper plates, iron gear, iron bucket, and you'll also need one of the uh, hardened glass setups, Just any hardened glass, and we already discussed that in the past video. If you want to take a look at the past video, uh, I'll, I'll link it in my description, I'll link it in my description. Uh, anyway, and I did use some uh, flux ducts here. To provide water, we need an aqueous accumulator. Uh, you can use any kind of water uh, method to get it. I, I like the aqueous accumulator. It doesn't upgrade or anything; it just produces water. And uh, this is the most efficient setup for it. Uh, you don't need this much water around it. You only need two blocks of water, but uh, it kind of increases the amount of water. This is going to give you the maximum amount of water per operation. So this is the setup you want. You only need two though, so that's up to you, up to you. Um, and um, so I have it feeding into these guys, so they don't never run out of water. <laughs> and the Oculus accumulator, I will show you here. It's glass, it's a device frame. Now mind you, this is different from a machine frame. 
a device frame, which I'm going to show you the recipe for, red server, which I'm going to show you the recipe for in a minute, and the 10 gears. Of course, all the gears are made with the one iron in the middle and then whatever uh, one it is on the outside. This is a 10 one, so the 10 around the outside. The other one had the copper. It is the copper around the outside. Um, and, of course, the servo, which is just one iron in the middle and then redstone in the four corners. And then the device frame is a copper gear, iron, and any kind of glass. All right. And that'll give you the Oculus accumulator. And it'll just feed water to anything you want to feed water to. I would, I would make this first and set this up in your house. And then go ahead and put like a, a tank on top of it. Just so you'll have a water source in your house. And you can just pop that off. Because you might need it. A good number of these things that I'm going to show you require you to have a water source around that's feeding in the machine. So, you might want to do it. Just be mindful, this does not have to be a steam dynamo. You can do any dynamo. dynamo. And it might be more fuel efficient to use something else, like uh, the lava setup I'm going to show you later on. Alright, so, uh, good, uh, that we got that out of the way. So, this setup right here, the testing was two uh, dynamos versus two dynamos, since I needed two dynamos for this particular thing here. So, I put a half a stack of cold coke in these two here. So, a half a stack in this one, a half a stack in this one, and then I put a full stack into this one. All right? That way we would be using the same amount of fuel on both sides here. All right? And these two dynamos, fully upgraded, with the full catalyzer in both of them, all right, produced us four million from one stack of coke cook. All right, this guy here is a monster. I had to build this thing here and these three. And I know you can't see this right here. I'm going to take this one off and put it in my inventory. These are enchanted. All right, <laughs> these are enchanted. This is one one point one point five million. Buckets there. Ah, oh, shoot. I'll set that back up. Let me find one I didn't enchant. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll do here. This one. So regular. Oh, these got creative on it, so it won't show me. Shoot. All the rest of these are creative, aren't they? I mean, let me just pop one out real quick. And I'll show you the upgrades. Alright, so this one here. Oh, come on. Can hold 20,000 buckets. Just a basic 20,000 buckets work. And set this down, and then you can upgrade it just, just with the hardened bucket. Hardened upgrade kit. Just right click on it. And if we look at it now, it holds 80. 80. Alright. And then if we upgrade it with the reinforced, it holds 180 buckets. And then we hit it with the signalum, 320. And then if you want the maximum amount here, you can get by just the upgrade kits, you can get 50,000, uh, 500 uh, buckets of, of, of whatever liquid you want. So I, I, that's just to show you. And then you can put the holding enchantment on there. And then that ups it. I put holding four on all three of these. <laughs> it, one stack, let's see. One stack of cold cook filled up this one, this one, and almost filled this one up. So... <laughs> Uh, that's about 4 million, a little over 4, 4.5 million. Um, you can use, uh, one of the drums, but I, I don't want to search for that. But, uh, the reinforced drum, I believe, requires six diamonds. It will be a little bit cheaper to make than this thing, but you will have to, uh, use your, uh, flux ducts. Now, steam, I believe you need the hardened flux ducts 
for this because I think Steam requires as a or is 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 qualified as a hot liquid, and I don't think you can run it through the regular fluid ducts. I think you need at least the hardened to transfer the steam. I don't know that for sure, but I did that because it's a I, it can it's considered a hot liquid to to me. So um, you, you do some testing. You can do some testing if you want. So now these two setups here set up the way that I got them right now. Now again, this has got the catalyst in here. It's three catalysts. Now this one has four, so I used eight in this, and this one only has six. All right. So these these two have two more catalysts than these two have. All right. So there's six, three and three, six, and it produced eight, eight million, eight million. All right. Instead of four million. All right. So that was the testing there. So that that shows me that this is a better way to set this up. So I set this up over here. So I set each one of these up here, and my this setup here was more in line with what you're going to be able to do at the start of the game. So I got I had creative um, tanks. Th those two were over here. I had each one on each one of these, and I put a stack of uh, cold cook in each one of these. Now these aren't fully upgraded. These are only upgraded to the hardened because at the beginning of the game that's the one you'll have you'll, you'll be able to make those in bulk. The hardened ones. You'll be able to make those in bulk. So you'll be able to upgrade your machines no problem to, to the hardened level. Alright. So with the hardened level here um, I had all three of these set up because I didn't know how much steam these this level of it was going to produce for me. Uh, but these two are not needed. Alright. Um, you could probably get away with just a regular drum there. But uh, I like to put this here just in case. Because these guys here, even if the container is full of steam, it will still burn the fuel. I don't know how to stop that from happening. But I want the upgrades in here that I have in here, so so uh, I want I want it to produce as much steam as it, it can do. And if we're going to be constantly feeding this stuff, cold cook or something like that, any any kind of uh, material to constantly be burning, we don't want we don't want it to have a container to fill because that's just going to be wasting fuel. We want it to constantly be burning. Uh, and and using that fuel. So uh, one stack in here produced just off of this one. Now I, I put a stack in here, and then I waited till it filled all of them up, and then ran it through. And uh, so that produced us six million six hundred fifty thousand just from one stack of cold cook. And that's the the regular cold cook, not the blocks. All right. Oh, the same over here. It was regular cold cook, not the blocks. Uh, for this one, I didn't need this. Uh, this setup here, one of these will keep two of, of these uh, steam dynamos with the turbine converger, com converser, converser, whatever. Uh, upgrade in it. We'll keep those running without needing a backup tank. All right. But I would go ahead and put one here just in case. But, but you shouldn't need to. It keeps these two running, and it produced just a little bit less. Just a little bit less. You see. 56. 48. So you can run two on one. So one to, one to two is what you need. You need one of those and two of these. And that should keep you running. And you should be able to feed it constant fuel, and it should keep these running without needing a backup there. Now, these guys here, I did was able to run three of these on here. And it only produced a little bit less power, but it is less power. And overall, over time, that less power is going to add up. But it's not much less. So it can keep up with three, but it was like shutting off and on. And I don't, I don't want that. I don't know if that's going to cause lag or anything in, in the system. But uh, this was constant, constant, steady power. So, so I think this is your best option here. And this is going to get you the most power out of your steam stuff. So, 
uh, you set up this with your aqueous accumulator over there, or whatever whatever method you want to fill uh, uh, infinite infinite water into this right here, and then your fuel source. Which uh, if you're not using the steam dynamos, whatever you're using, you can use the magma too if you want, and uh, you can put those in here. And whatever fuel source makes sure you get that constant. Uh, lava would be a good one. Magma. I believe you can do that. Um, it already has a specialization for that. I, b I believe you can give it water. It says any dynamos. I will do some testing on that for you. Uh, I can, definitely you can use a compression dynamo also. Because it, 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 I know compression dynamo has water on it. So, for me, 100%. I'm probably going to be running off steam power. I don't know which dynamo I'm going to be using. I might do some further testing. If I do, I'll I'll produce a, I'll, I'll give a video. Uh, what I want to do is test operation. So one bucket, one uh, cold coke, one whatever uh, refined fuel, um, whatever. Um, I, I know what I'm talking about. So so whatever's going to be the most efficient efficient way to produce steam that's the way I want to go with so I'm gonna do some testing with these other uh, dynamos and see how much actual um, steam I can produce with one uh, unit of, of fuel and uh, I will be testing that in the future anyway guys if you like this episode make sure you smack that like button oh wait a minute wait a minute I didn't show you these steam dynamos let me show you that recipe steam dynamos here it's just a transmission coil, coil which is just silver and redstone. Uh, the copper gears, we already showed you, and some iron. That's it. It's really, really cheap. This is a really, really cheap way to set it up. Production there. And the upgrades here for you guys that want to know them. The boiler upgrade is just an iron gear, copper plates. And I think I showed you this already, but I'm going to show you again. Um, a turbine one here, a couple plates, iron gear, yeah. So that's pretty much all you're going to need the hardened flux ducts, aren't you? I think it's this one. Just in bar and lead. Yeah, that's it. It's real simple. And, uh, uh, the last time I didn't show you the servo here, right here, but it's, it's this, oh, shoot, uh, R, glass, nugget, iron nugget, iron ingots, it's real simple, simple stuff, anyway guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell me how much you like it, there's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any, you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put them down in the comments down below. Don't forget to set your notifications for my channel so you can get my notifications. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.